I'll see a woman. A woman who went away from the church. Eh? From the church. From the church. With members. Yes. Eh? yes she... And you were trusting this woman. Yes. That's very true, Pastor. You call this woman prophetess. Mm. Eh? Yes. She's, she was, she's she... anointed. She was delivering people. And, she was delivering you know, people. We trusted her so much. I see a woman left you like this. Yes. And uh, this woman has destroyed everything. Right now, you are starting from fresh. It's true, man of God. Eh? It's true. Where is your wife? She's at her home in my melody. Uh, your wife has given up. Pardon? Your wife has lost hope because of this thing. Let me pray I, for you. I'll do. I want this woman to return everything she took from you. Because you have trained this woman. This woman will never have peace. How, how do you offend a person like this in his age? This woman will bring people back. Sister, eh? I receive it. Jesus you, say, you say what? Yes, it's true, man of God. She, she lied against us. you. Yes. Eh? Even now, she's, she's talking about bad things against it's, you. It's true, man. But you, you brought her close. It's true. And she left you like yes. that. We With supported zero. her very huh? much. Huh? We supported her very much. From zero. And trusted her. Mm -hmm. She won't go far. Forgive her. It's I God will who will fight for you. I will, man of God. Forgive her. Will God will fight for you. I will. Be. Wherever she is, bring back the people. Start to speak the truth. Amen. This is a, a, a calling to her. You Amen. cannot start a church by the members of another person. It's true. You won't go far. Mm -hmm. You won't go far. Remember this man. This is a very good man. This man loved you so much. This man prayed for you so much. This man, I see him taking three days fasting at this age. The three days fasting for her, praying for, him, for this woman. I pray that this woman will repent in Jesus' name. You can go back. God bless you. This thing is very painful. Mama, what is happening to this man? It's very painful. Because this man is already, uh, is above 60 now. What will happen? Say you're above 60, eh? Huh? I'm turning 65, 65 on Wednesday. So think about this man starting the ministry afresh after she trust, he trusted a person. Uh, no one is kissing anyone. No one is kissing anyone. Amen. But God will fight for you. Amen. Please, please, please. Please. The best way of fighting anybody who fights you is to forgive that person. I actually so, pray for her every day. Uh, I, pray. I pray for her every day. That yes, God will yes. bless her. So, so this, this, we love that woman. I also love her because God wants to use that woman. It's true, man of God. You understand? I know that. God wants to use that. I love her, but what she did was wrong. Uh, let me speak with the camera. Uh, sister, God wants to use you. A uh, Lord, you don't need his members. Please, I beg you in the name of God. Uh, I've prayed for this man. Tell every member to go back. And allow this man to bless you. You go and start your own ministry. You'll go far. But if not, these members will rise up against you. They will fight you. Soon, already there's another one who's fighting you underground. So it's time now. Take all these members back. We love you. God wants to use you. Not with the way he's using you. What is happening to you now is very small compared to what is coming. God bless you. God bless you, my sister. Greetings in the wonderful name of Allah Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our Sunday life service and uh, the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T.E. Maganenise. Standing with me here today is my father, who was located during the service by the Apostle, who ministered upon his life. Sir, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Daniel Bokhoshi. I come from Hazy View in Mpumalanga. Daddy, today... 
So today during the service, the Apostle located you and spoke upon your life. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. The Apostle said there's a woman who has left me and I confirm that the prophecy is true. That there's a woman in the church whom we trusted so much and we even gave her a branch to pastor to look after. Uh, but she broke away in a very painful way. She, I would say she betrayed us because she just started by doing certain things without even telling us, like marrying people in the church, conducting certain, you know, uh, rites or that were supposed to be done by us as the senior pastors, or at least if she does them, it should be with our permission. But she started turning against us, and then suddenly she took some members and opened a church just nearby in the same vicinity uh, of the branch that we had given her to pastor. But she did not only end up there, she goes about besmirching our names, saying anything to discredit us, to talk bad uh, you know, behind our backs. And... Uh, since we became aware of it, there was nothing we could do. We just committed it to the Lord. And uh, like the man of God said, I pray that God give me, will, will give me the grace to forgive her. I have been saying in my heart that I've forg forg forgiven her and I, we are praying for her every day. But I want to confirm that what the apostle said is 100% true. Yes. And so how has the betrayal affected you? Well, it, it affected us because it's like when you preach, people don't look at you in a good eye. They can't, so they can't receive uh, you know, the message you are bringing forth to them to preach because of what she goes about talking and what she has said. And of course it has affected the membership. It's true what the Apostle has said that we are starting from scratch. It, she did not only do it physically, even spiritually. Like she prayed for us, but was like, you know, literally wrapping things off our hands. And because we trusted her, you know, we cooperated with her without knowing the damage of what she was doing. So I really want to advise pastors that never trust your member to an extent that you can have a prayer in the closet with one member. Never allow that. Uh, because there are some members whom God has revealed the gifts that are there in you as a pastor and they want to steal it. I, I never believed it, but after what the apostle said, I know that that can happen. And, but I want to thank God that the apostle said, whatever she has stolen from us, God will restore it. Yes. So I thank God for this prophecy. I believe it's a breakthrough in my life and in my wife's life in our life as a family and in the ministry, more importantly.